Well, Jonathan, I tell you, it was another great show, and we, we, we started off with uh, a guest in your neck of the woods. Yeah, Miss Judy McKinney with the Orville Farmers Market there in Dallas County. Got a ton of great stuff going on, and then the Farmer Palooza coming up at the end of this month. So y'all check them out on Facebook, the Orville Farmers Market. Yeah, and we stayed in that uh, West Alabama, uh, William Lyons. We talked about all the great things going on with uh, Southeastern States. William's doing a fantastic job there all over all over Alabama with uh, you know helping folks uh, with rural estates. And uh, and then we have one of our one of our great sponsors. Yeah, on the show. Andrew Harp with Alabama Ag Credit here out of the Montgomery office came in and talked to us about some of the land loans that they're seeing right now. And those guys do a fantastic job. I mean, they really they make, they will make your land deal come together. So reach out to the folks at Alabama Ag Credit. And then we went to your part of the world to talk to Brian Watts. Yeah, yeah, Big Brian was, was roaming around doing deals and talking about how he really is helping a lot of smaller landowners that, that don't know a lot about timber and, 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 and keeping them from getting taken advantage of. And Brian's doing a great job, he and Jesse and the whole team with the Timber Sales Division with Southeastern Land Group. Yeah, they do a good job. And then we went down to Fundalusia to talk to, to Russ <laughs> Who Walters Who and, <laughs> and Alusia down in Covington County and got an update from Russ and his family farm there. And and then, man, he's blowing and going with real estate. Just a lot going on right he now. He is. That's a, that's a good market down there, small market. But it's it's growing. There's so many small towns in Alabama are growing like Andalusia and then taking advantage of transitional property, many farming. And we closed it out with a wild man, but he got a new, he got a new nickname this week, didn't That's he? That's right, Tim, Tim the Flathead Baker. You have to figure out, you have to listen and figure out what that is. But uh, Tim did a great job bringing us information about preparing catfish and and and, and telling some some secret recipes about some secret locations to extract <laughs> ex extract uh, catfish meat it'll be interesting to you but uh, i don't know if i know how to do it but i need to learn but no uh, it, it sounds like it's good well y'all thanks for tuning in Pre appreciate you checking out this little short preview you can listen to the whole land show follow the link below in the email